65 million years ago, the dinosaurs vanished. Earth stood silent, smoldering, broken. But in the shadows of extinction, a new chapter began. Small, fur-covered survivors emerged from the underbrush. They were few in number, unknown to the world, but destined to take the throne of life itself. Over the next 65 million years, these little mammals would conquer the planet, transform Earth, and change our world forever. This is the story of the Cenozoic Era, the Age of Mammals. Part 1. Paleocene, 65.5 to 55 million years ago. Earth was still recovering from the asteroid impact that killed off the dinosaurs. Volcanoes rumbled. Ash fell from the sky, blanketing the land in gray dust. It was hard to believe that life could flourish again, but hardy mammals were everywhere. These were tiny creatures with long noses and sharp teeth. They scurried through the fern-covered forests, gnawing on buds and berries, hiding in burrows at night. No predators could touch them. Not yet. But though small, they were clever. Their brains grew bigger. Their claws sharpened. They adapted to every niche. They were the ancestors of elephants, whales, primates, and us. And though they didn't know it yet, the future belonged to them. Part 2. Eocene, 55 to 33 million years ago. Over the next 20 million years, the sun beat down on Earth. The oceans warmed. Lush, tropical jungles grew from pole to pole. Bizarre creatures climbed into the trees, leaping from branch to branch. Strange, whale-like predators patrolled the seas. Birds with beaks like hooks snatched fish from the waves. The first bats swooped into the skies. Forests covered much of the planet. Mammals swung in the trees, scampered on the ground, slithered through the underbrush. And among them, the first primates appeared, staring out at the world with large, round eyes, curious and bright. Life on Earth was an explosion of color and motion, but the Earth was growing colder. The tropics retreated and grasslands spread across the continents. The mammals who lived there had to adapt or die. Part 3. Oligocene, 33 to 23 million years ago. The Oligocene was a time of change. The fast runners evolved to chase and even faster prey to escape. Powerful ancestors of big cats and dogs hunted alongside giant birds. Each new species was a masterpiece of evolution, sculpted by the forces of nature. But others weren't so lucky. Some went extinct while the bravest, the boldest, and the luckiest carried on living to see what wonders the future would bring. Part 4. Miocene, 23 to 5 million years ago. The Miocene was a time of giants. Early elephants roamed in herds, trumpeting as they moved across the land. Their tusks grew longer, their ears grew larger. Nearby, giant rhinos thundered across the savanna, their horns like scimitars against the sky. High in the trees, early apes swung from branch to branch. They looked like humans, but they weren't quite us yet. Their brains were smaller, their bodies were hairier but every day brought them closer to the world we live in today. Continents shifted, mountains rose, volcanoes rumbled. The planet took the shape we know today, and life teemed across the world. Part 5. Pliocene. 5 2.5 million years ago. As the Earth raced towards the future, the Pliocene brought new challenges. The climate turned drier. The grasslands expanded. Mammals grew larger faster, stronger. And then from Africa, a new kind of animal began to walk upright. They were called Australopithecus. They were our earliest ancestors. They walked on two legs and held the future in their hands. One species, Australopithecus afarensis, lived in East Africa. They had small brains and ape-like faces, but they walked upright like us. They used rudimentary tools and hunted early prey. Though they seemed simple, they contained within them the spark of humanity. Part 6. Pleistocene, 2.5 to Zietruro, Yodaoju, 117 million years ago. The Pleistocene wasn't for the weak. It brought ice ages that froze the world. During the height of winter, woolly mammoths lumbered across the snow, their tusks like blades. 
Saber-toothed cats stalked through the frozen forests. Giant sloths hung from trees, munching on leaves. But no creature was more adaptable than early humans. Our ancestors learned to control fire. They built shelters, crafted tools, and hunted great beasts. They developed language and formed tribes. With their intelligence and teamwork, humans conquered the harsh world of the Ice Ages. They became the masters of the Pleistocene. And when the ice melted, they were ready for whatever came next. Part 7. Holocene. 11 700 years ago, today. Now the world was changing faster than ever before. As the climate warmed, glaciers melted, sea levels rose, and civilization dawned. Humans spread across the globe. They farmed the land, built cities, and reached for the stars. From hunting and gathering to skyscrapers and spaceships, we have changed the world beyond recognition. We have become the dominant species on Earth. But with great power comes great responsibility. What will we do with this world we inherited from the Cenozoic? Will we preserve it or become another extinction story? That's up to you. The age of mammals is not over. It's still being written, and you're part of it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell us in the comments which animal from the Cenozoic would you love to see alive today. And if you want to help us make even more incredible videos, consider becoming a patron. Every bit counts and allows us to keep bringing you free, quality educational content. So, until next time, keep thinking big and keep dreaming about all the amazing things that are possible. Who knows? You never what you might learn next. This has been your host. Thanks for watching.